Hello my friends and welcome to episode 21. Um, so we have this Pandorian layer that's spawned in here, but we're going to ignore it for now because... Uh, frankly... It would be a pain in the ass to do that mission, and we've not... We've not done any of these, like, story missions that are floating around, so basically... We're in a position where we're not... We're not getting anything done, we're just treading water. And that's not where I want to be. So we're going to rest our dudes and then we're going to go. Man who would be Pirate King and Frozen. Let's start with Frozen. That one's been there the longest. See, I could immediately attack, attack the lair, but... I just figure that I'm gonna get caught up in these in these defenses all the time. I'm not progressing the game. Okay. In 2022. A group of researchers investigating an anthrax outbreak caused by melting permafrost in northern Siberia went missing. The dun, Phoenix dun, dun. Project tried to find out what happened to them, but our resources were stretched too thin, and our allies in the Russian government were losing influence, so we let it go. All these years later, looking at these samples, I wonder, is this where it started? Is this the first outbreak? If we had done more, could we have stopped it? The genetic material I have recovered might hold the answers, but I'm not sure I want to know. Dun dun dun. Alright, there's no mission. I thought there'd be a mission. There was no mission. Well, this is definitely a mission. We know that for, for, for certain. So then after that we can head home and rest up and then smash the Pandorian Lair. That will be... That will be reasonable. <clears throat> Let's go. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Do, do, do. <clears throat> At some point I have to sit down and like start topping up my main team's <clears throat> stat points to make them even more uber. I'm gonna bring along another uh, a neuralizer. This is an assault, and assaults can switch items for free. So I think. Yeah, ready for action. That's the one. Reloading and inventory actions do not cost any action points, so there is no harm in having stuff stowed away. I wonder what happens if you neuralize a dude. Do you get all his equipment? Do you capture him? Can you de-radicalize him? And put him in containment? Who knows, but what I do know is it's time to kill all enemies. Human enemies can be very dangerous. So, we'll have to be careful. <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> Ironically, against human enemies, a vehicle might be really good. Because <clears throat> humans are not very good at destroying tanks. Only the heavy weapons dudes have got really any good armor penetration. an access lift room. <coughs> wow, they've got everything here. This is like a full base. That's a power plant. That's food production. I wonder if that means you can capture this base and repurpose it for your own needs. Uh, I think that's a manufactorium. Another power plant. That's a research center. How interesting. I'm ready. Do they have a sniper? No. Two heavies and an assault. Let's go. Preparing to fire. Good morning. Just a bit off. Ugh. Let's roll. Channel open. Making haste. Silly sniper. Got to be quick. No time to waste. Huh. It's like this guy's voice has changed. Action. Here they come. Moving now. He ain't heavy. Let's try this. He's gonna eat a grenade in the face. No oh, wait. Oh, the ceiling is in the way. Still. Looks like the graphics for this area are broken. No, I genuinely can't dash there. For inexplicable reasons, I cannot dash onto this terrain. Is it a bug? 
here goes. Boom. <laughs> How's that taste? Receiving loud and clear. Sniper acquiring target. Go, go. I like quick aim. It's almost better than um, uh, Rage Burst in some ways, because it allows you to take a lot of cheap shots on one turn. And depending on the weapon, like, you know, a shotgun only gets six shots, so Rage Burst would be a six, six shot unload. You could fire your shotgun four times with enough uh, quick aim, with high accuracy too. Yeah, the old Jericho assault, assault rifle is actually pretty good. Dun dun dun. Dun 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 dun. dun. I guess this is the only guy I have a shot on. Moving out. All set. Da 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 dun dun da 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 They're both heavies. And that means that they cannot move forward and shoot. Not happening. So stand by. Holding position. Ready for action. Ready for action. I could dash in and neuralize one of them if they get a bit closer. On my way. Wait in there. Just for the just for the excitement of capturing myself a live human specimen. They gotta move forward or die tired. Born again anarchist. Okay, no shot there. You could just that uh, war cry ability, which I don't actually have any copies of it, but it's amusingly potent against heavies because it reduces their action points to two, and all of their weapons cost three points to use. Oh, this is the boy. That's the one. That's my capture target. Hi. <laughs> I don't think you're meant to capture human enemies, but... <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> He's paralyzed. Aren't you worried he's gonna get away? He can't! He's paralyzed! You have to be very careful with the dosage. <laughs> Channel open. Enemy in visual range. Oh. It's 
one of those mind sucker. Oh wow, there's loads of enemies. Taking action. Let's try this. There are more enemies than I was anticipating. Oh, oops. Uh, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I guess the grenade Receiving hit the roof. Loud and clear. Five by five. Wow, it does 40, 40 damage and two armor piercing times eight. So the little turret is actually really quite deadly. Ready for action. Leaving this character out here was a mistake now that I know that there's all these extra enemies around. I'm gonna have to get some work done. And that's gonna mean some some dashing investigation of the enemies' faces. Rapid clearance. Oh my god. So many enemies. Be afraid, boys. Oh, quite a few of them have got the scream symbol already. All oh, right, this character has now recovered enough will points to get out of hell. What if I just... I've got three uh, shots left in the magazine. What if I just shove these downrange? How would you guys feel about that? Faster characters. You know, paralyzing this guy was all fun and games, but maybe I should just kill him to carry on creating the scream effect here. Yeah, let's move. 
I could dash, but it feels like a waste of will. Ready to fire. Could you nail this boy? shot there. Right there. I'm overextended here. Oh. That is okay. That's a kill. All right, the panic is spreading. Excellent. I'm on Overwatch. It was a mistake to leave this character so exposed. Oh well. Alright, Team Panic is on the move. my weapon. Alright, that did not actually go as badly as I thought. I thought I would actually lose a character there. What's the plan? Uh, what's the weapon that's on the floor? Any sniper rifle. Stand by for healing. Technician heal. Go.
Alright, I guess there's nothing further to do here. Uh, standing by. Here goes. Boom. You want to play grenade rain the game? I can do that. Heading out. Um, hmm. Feeling better already. Just a moment. Might pop in there next. Next turn, turn on rapid clearance and go in there. The shotgun. Heading out. I think now's the time to just stand by out of the way. Let's go. Oh, nice shot. Right in the noggin. My turn. Born again anarchist. Okay. <coughs> it will soon be time for rapid clearance. Yeah, my turn. Oh, I took a hit. A very minor one. What is this? It's an assault with a crappy gun. Okay, sweet. Receiving loud and clear. Hi, boys. Boom. Moving now. Rapid clearance, go. Dash, go. Hide in there. Let's go. Let's clean up some boys. Double kill! <gasps> that was unfortunate. <coughs> Triple kill! Gotta keep on pushing. Hmm, gotta be very careful about hitting the rifle and therefore not killing the target. Quad damage. Oh. 
We got him. <laughs> A party never stops with this gun. Hostile neutralized. Three reloads. Oh my. Maybe I should neuralize this guy. That would be hilarious. Uh, how many enemies are left? No clue. What I do know is that this guy is filled with panic. Now he's just filled with dead. Alright, a weapon was dropped. Reposition. Any more meat for the grinder? Dun 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 Eh Eh Ready for action What's our move? What's our move, mate? Channel open. Keep a lookout. Let's do this. All right. I don't know where the enemy is. Oh, apparently there's one there. to keep on pushing it's a sniper why because I can yeah He can't. He's paralyzed. I don't think we can capture them, you know. I think I have to kill him. There's always time for R&R. &R. Running. Any enemies? Oh, there is another one. It's above me. In a room that I apparently can't look into. Well, this boy's going to be paralyzed for a while.
Okay. Apparently there's no way up there. The uh, the ladder on my side has been destroyed. This ladder is available. No rest for the wicked. Acquiring target. Oh. It's like up on a building. Aiming Ready carefully. It's on the second floor, just kind of sat there. Abdon Tusk! That's the billionaire! That's the leader dude! He's got a flamethrower. Wow, whatever armor he's wearing, it's tough. It's Mr. Tusk. He's up there, tusking away. Setting it up. Wow, you are useless right now. No Thanks to all the damage you took. Pushing on. Here goes. Oh, this is hard to aim. Hard to aim, but I hit him. Oh man, I hit him good. Now he's got no weapon. No weapon, just a dream. Preparing to fire. Uh, there you are. <coughs> Oof. Reload. Dun 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 dun. One dude was paralyzed. Do I get his gear? That would be cool. Maybe I get an extra soldier, that would be nice. So something has survived of the Firebird <clears throat> initiative after all. Stas and Nikolai will be pleased to hear that. They founded the initiative, uh -oh. you know, back in the days when our disagreements went tearing us apart. Strange to think of two people who love each other so much being on opposite sides. But there I go, involving you in Synedrion drama again. Synedrion drama. Now, look. Anything you share with us will be shared with everyone, but there's tremendous symbolism to who you share it with first. Our whole internal discourse is increasingly being defined by the polyphonic tendency and the terraformers, and what you choose to do may affect who comes out on top in this debate. Ah... Uh. You deal with it. Forget the drama. 
A sensible solution. I wouldn't know how to choose either. Both sides are equally convincing and equally annoying. <laughs> Replenish soldier shotgun. Oh, I haven't got any spares. Apparently. Well, it's not the first time I've lost a weapon. I can't believe we're so far into the game and we're still using the same weapons. get a spare bulldog on the go as well. I believe I do have a spare. In fact, I have a number of spare firebird. Oh, hey, it is a base. We do get to keep the base. Well. There ain't nothing happening here until the access lift is repaired. Oh, it's repaired. It repairs instantly. Okay. Additional fabrication. Wow, this strikes me as a great base to build a f massive food farming program. Construction complete. Right, let's head back to base to repair. We still got that Pandorian nest to deal with. Oh, a free event. Nice. Give me the materials. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Nice, they gave me loads of stuff. Archini SP1 and packs for it. I don't know what that is. I'll find out in a minute. Uh, I can s I can trade tech for materials. That's actually not a bad idea. Anything I can trade, uh, food. Food for whatever. That scan is still ongoing, so it's not even been three days yet. Um... See, food is the only thing you can actually produce, so it makes sense to produce food to then trade it off for everything else. 
Although there are other ways to get a hold of materials. Any more research or manufacturing seems excessive at the moment, because research is flying along, and there's honestly not much left to do. Oh, I say that, and then I've unlocked new stuff. Pandorian Lair. Oh, nice! That'll fix my home base, which currently has two energy power plants. That would make that unnecessary. Battle armor. Oh, research output increased by 50%. Research complete. Oh, they're all instant. Sweet. Research complete. Huh, I just get all the technology. This is amazing. Research complete. Nice. This is a scout craft, it seems. Very fast. Only five capacity. Good for going around and scanning, I guess. Oh, laser weapons. Yes, please. Nice. It's only slightly more damage than the Firebird, but it holds more ammunition as well. And this laser pistol has a really long effective range of 27, with also a massive ammo capacity. Rage burst with that would be pretty frightening, actually. Lightweight and silent. Thirty-six effective range, forty-one. So basically, it's exactly the same as your uh, standard rifle, but way more accurate, with way longer range. And apparently, laser weapons are quiet as well. I don't know how true that is. Research complete. Okay. That just seems pretty standard. Slightly superior sniper armor. No, this is not sniper armor, this is standard armor. It's slightly inferior standard armor, but it improves your speed. Same thing here, the armor is slightly inferior, but it improves your stealth and accuracy a lot more. Well, that's actually what the description says. But descriptions can always be trusted. Research complete. Ground support vehicle. Research complete. Poison grenades. I don't know about weapons that kill over time. You really want the enemy dead ASAP. Research complete. Motion detection module. Interesting. Nice.
Oh, this is what we got here. Spider drone pistol. <laughs> it's a spider mine. It sneaks up on enemies and blows up. Sweet. Venom crossbow. Research complete. Fifty damage plus forty poison. Single shot. It only costs one action point to use, which makes it quite deadly for a one action point weapon. Man, you could really stack up the poison on that. Like, you could get it up to 160 pretty easily. One of those big fat mega beasts would really disapprove of being poisoned by that. Man, you know what that means. I really want to do this mission now. <laughs> you just get everything. You should go and do his mission too and get all of that tech. That sweet, sweet technology. Although most of it does seem to be quite... Quite side grady. Anyway, I need to head back to base first to heal up. Uh, speaking of bases, our new power plants produce um, 30, 30 juice, so there's no need for a second energy generator anywhere. So this can go. Free money. Let's, uh,. Oh, Jesus. Let's add... Um, Do I want a third research lab? Maybe not at this base. Spread my stuff around. I still don't know if bases can be attacked. Fabrication is under repair here. Energy is under repair here. Wait a minute, what did I build in base one? Food production. Now that was a mistake. Oh well, too late now. I meant to swap them around. Oh well, it really doesn't matter. I'll just explore this quickly on the way. Nice. I'm drowning in food. Drowning in it. Okay. Well, that was a nasty way to go. Ah, stop.
All right, scan complete. Now I have a route down here, although not very far. Now, should I just bounce down there and do another scan? How are my how is team 2 doing? Ah, they're still they're still level 2. It's not they're not usable yet. Probably level 3 is about where they become competent. Research complete. Whoa, whoa, everything's just going right. Uh, you want to trade food for tech? Yes, please. I will happily trade food for anything. Okay, so, uh, this mission will allow us to get, I presume, the Anu technology, and then the only technology we're missing then is, uh, is New Jericho tech, but New Jericho tech is going to be a problem for a long time, because the next mission is in the middle of nowhere, and it's going to be a while until I make bridges across the globe so I can get to it. So I guess the next thing I need to do is take the layer down. Yeah, I think next time we'll we'll take the layer down and then we'll worry about doing this stuff over here. Maybe bounce around these havens to pick materials up. You know, once this, uh, once repairs are complete on this base, we should be able to commission another aircraft. I don't see why I'm only allowed two. Because I've got, like, two vehicle bays now. I think I'm... I'm in fact, I think I have like three vehicle bays. Aircraft at base zero out of zero. I don't know, I'm very cute. I'm very confused, but I'll just build a third aircraft if it lets me. They are expensive though. Build the fast one, the Helios. And use it to uh, trade resources and explore and stuff. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable idea. Just use it to bounce around the havens and trade away my food for resources and I can then just build more farms in the empty slots in my bases to feed my war engine of course speaking of materials there are these scavenging sites here but they're all extreme danger although I'm sure the layer is also extreme danger so if I want resources I could just attack these scavenging sites as well. I don't know, I'll have to have a real think about it. As my scanner bot goes around and scans. Mm -hmm. 
lost your shotgun in the line of duty and one of his arms while he was at it just tidying everything up before uh, the next episode just allows me to plunge into the fighting Okay. Seems reasonable. All oh, right. Give the lady a prize. Mmm, 20% accuracy and minus 10 damage. With a shotgun that's plus 20%. Could really tighten the cone on the shotgun here. I don't know, I'll think about it. I mean, it costs points and it's not a straight up bonus. This is a straight up bonus. Don't really need that. Just put the ammo to one side. Hmm, that's the ammo for the turret. But these things, you know, once the ammo runs out, I've got no way of replacing it anyway because uh, I can't get into Jericho's good graces. All right, that's better. So this is this effectively becomes a handgun. One action point. It's a handgun. And this is the main weapon, the shotgun. I don't know how much willpower this guy uh lady really requires doesn't really have a huge amount of willpower moves I think speed to get into position would be helpful of course until I you know cross class with assault or something along those lines all right that'll do you know that would allow me to actually fire the grenade launcher twice if the grenade launcher counts I just don't know if it does All right, they're all level three now. Ha, my level six dude who got benched has leveled up. He's overweight because he's carrying lots of ammo. What he should really be carrying is a spare weapon. Ah, 
That's better. Maybe I can swap him in and swap out the uh, the new Jericho boy. All right, that's it for now. I think we're as sorted as we're going to be. These episodes are running longer now. Just because I'm getting into it more. Still have a random mission here. It's obvious I should hit this mission next. For the sake of acquiring Anu Tech. But there's also, you know, the Pandorian layer to shut down. There's a lot to do. And they want me to complete complete research of various captures. Which is gonna be troubling, I'm sure. <laughs> This paralysis pistol might be the way forward as well, for capturing stuff. In fact, that reminds me. Because that's a technology that we have now. You've got free inventory management, haven't you? Oh no, you're a heavy sniper. I don't need extra ammo. <clears throat> Maybe I can uh, use this pistol to paralyze some enemies. Uh, it's not great paralysis five. But it's enough. Fourteen, five perception, three stealth, twenty accuracy. Fourteen, seven perception, five stealth, twenty accuracy it is just a straight upgrade. Motion detection module. Provides no defense though. Right, what I do want one of these bad boys. In fact, I'd like a couple of them. I like the idea of these laser pistols as well, actually. Alright, I think we're good. Right, finally, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.